This year's theme for Drop a Rock Day on July 3rd is peace. So here's a design idea if you are having trouble coming up with something. I'm using a compass to get a nice round circle, but you could also trace something round. And then I'm going to make the peace sign in the center of the stone and then just kind of thicken up all of the lines. So I'm kind of doing that freehand. You could use the compass or a ruler to help with this, but I'm just kind of freehanding it to get nice even lines around the whole design. For my base coat, instead of the Liquitex Gesso, I'm gonna use this broad tipped Posca paint pen that's white just because it's kind of easy to hold and I really want to try and make this circle as as good as possible so I felt like I would have a little bit more control with a paint pen so I decided to use this as the base coat for my peace sign. Now that I've got all that filled in, I decided to use my Thule Art Neon Paint Pen for this piece sign. So it's kind of a cross between a neon orange and pink, but I really like it because it's nice and bright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around and fill in the entire piece sign with this paint pen. If you've never done Drop a Rock Day before, it's every year on July 3rd, and there was a group on Facebook that would vote on the, the word or the phrase of the year and then they publicize that and everybody paints rocks with the same phrase or word and everyone drops them on July 3rd. So it's a worldwide event and it's kind of cool to think that all kinds of rock artists around the world are dropping rocks on the same day with the same message. Once I get this filled in, I am going to take some Liquitex Gesso and I'm going to base coat some little circles to create some flowers on the peace sign. So this is kind of a common design you've seen in several of my videos, but this is one of my favorite ways to create flowers and it's very easy. So I'm just kind of grouping them together like a little bunch of flowers. I'm gonna do more on the right side and a handful on the left side as well. So I'm gonna use this lavender sachet and cameo pink paint to fill in my flowers and I'm also gonna add a white flower because I had an odd number. I'm gonna start by just giving an initial first coat of all the colors to make sure we get nice coverage and then I'm gonna come back again with the same colors. So now moving on to the second coat of each color, I'm going to add the pink first and I'm going to leave it kind of wet and then take a disposable eyeliner brush which is really thin for fine lines and dip it in a darker pink and kind of swirl it into the wet lighter pink paint and this creates the look of petals. If you feel like you get too much of the dark color, you can always dip back into the lighter color that's the base of the flower and swirl that in. You can't really mess this up, but you can just kind of keep going back and forth until you get the type of petals that you want. The first year that I participated in Drop a Rock Day was in 2018, and I believe the phrase that year was, you matter, and then the following year it was harmony, and then last year it was be the light, as we were kind of all coming out of the pandemic or trying to keep moving forward from the pandemic. So there's always, it's always a very inspirational phrase, and I think this year's phrase of peace is also very fitting for a number of reasons. Now 
that I've completed all the swirls, I'm gonna take a green paint pen and create some little leaves and curly cues just to add a little bit more detail to the design. Now I'm going to take my Sakura Pigma brush pen, which is great for fine line detail, and add swirls to the center of each of the flowers. This just adds a little bit more dimension and detail to our little bunches of flowers. After I get these details on, I'm going to take my Posca PC1MR paint pen. This is also black, and I'm just going to outline the entire piece sign to give it a little more definition, and it kind of fixes any of the the edges that may have been a little off or crooked, this smooths out everything in the design. I went over one of my curly cues, so I'm going to come back with the green pen and fix that so my curly cues above the black line. And then I'm coming back with that Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and I'm adding a little bit more detail to the leaves. I've already been asked a couple of times what I write on the back of these, so I put drop a rock day and then the date, because somebody might find this a year from now. And then I put my usual, depending on what I can fit on the rock, which is keep or rehide, and then post a picture and join the fun, and then I put my local rock group on the back. I also did a second design with some different paint pens and it's a lot lighter and so we know that resin darkens these Mexican beach pebbles up. So what I'm going to do to prevent the blue piece sign from getting lost is I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge over this rock and this will help keep the stone kind of the color that you see it now when the resin goes on. With the Dry Mod Podge, you can see it looks kind of dull, but once the resin goes on, it gets that beautiful glossy shine and you can see that the rock stayed a lighter color, whereas with the neon paint pen, I left it alone, the rock gets really dark and the neon color popped through. I hope this video gave you a little inspiration for Drop a Rock Day 2022. I would love to see what you create, so find me on Facebook and Instagram and let me know. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.